Hello again, friends. I hope you're doing well this week. A number of months ago during my weekly word, I talked about how so many of us have been making more mistakes and forgetting things way more often than we are used to. And I mentioned that we have come up with phrases like COVID brain or pandemic thinking to help describe why we are not functioning at 100% like we usually do. Well, it keeps on happening, at least for me. Just last Sunday, I made a number of errors during worship, uh, one of which was our lay worship leader who was scheduled to do the call to worship as well as a prayer of thanksgiving after the offering. During, did the call to worship just fine, and then when the offering song was done, she was about to step up to do the prayer of thanksgiving, but I jumped right ahead and read, my, read the scripture and preached the sermon and went on with the service, didn't even think about it, didn't even realize I skipped right over that part until after the surface, service when she playfully came up and we joked about it, and I realized what I'd done. And then before that, when... Uh, I led the passing of the peace, I invited the children to go to kids worship like we've been doing, but the only problem is that we had decided to not have kids worship on communion Sundays so that the kids could stay with the wider church family and participate in communion together. So when I announced for kids to go to kids worship, our children's director, Emily, scrambled to get her head into the game and get the kids together and take them down for something she had not planned on doing. <laughs> so it keeps happening. Does it keep happening to you? Do you still have days where you feel like you don't even know what day it is and you're not even sure if you can make one single decision in a clear and definitive way? Do things still feel foggy and uncertain? My guess is that you will say yes to those questions. So my thought is simply this, keep giving yourself room to be where you are. When you make mistakes, acknowledge them, apologize for them if you need to, and then step right back out into the rest of the day. God's promise to us is not that we will be perfect or that God will even fix all of our mess up. God's promise is that by the power and presence of the Holy Spirit, God will remain with us, lifting us up, holding us close, showering us with grace. No matter where we are in life, God is right there with us in Jesus Christ. Good news for us to hold on to. Take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon.